Okay guys, so what we're going to do now is just going to have a little look at some um, level prototyping techniques that are, on, um, are available in Unreal Engine 5. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to select mode and I'll show you straight away. We have this, this thing called modeling. Um, it's going to dock that over there. There we go. <laughs> Get rid of the content browser. And we have this option called cube grid so i'm going to click that when you click it you get this this well this grid <laughs> out here okay um and i'm going to ignore my sort of template bit over here and i'm going to create something over here separately first of all so what you can do with this is you can just drag your mouse to create whatever it is the size that you want to create um, and you have these options here called pull and push if i click pull you can see that it creates um, kind of a, some geometry there. All right, I can do pull a couple of times, or I can do push, which reverts it back down again. Okay, so I can do like that. And then from there, you might want to have, I don't know, it, some kind of pillars here maybe. Um, you know, like this. Okay, and all the corners. Just kind of gonna make this up as I go along. Um, okay. Like that. But what we can then do, say you wanted to go horizontally, um, you could highlight the section you want and then just go pull and put that to go across there. Okay, maybe something underneath here, do pull, and that's going to do like that. All right. Um, what you can also do is cut out pieces as well. So um, let's say we had this going all the way up to the top. Um, and we wanted to cut out a section there you can highlight that and go push and then it will remove it okay so real quick way of just um creating geometry and cre cre creating a block out for for a level really okay some other things that you could do so if i let's say i had that up there we can go to this corner mode and in corner mode you can see that we can select one or all of these vertices in the corners okay so if i click these two front ones um you need to do the either q or e key so q will go down and e will go up so i can turn that into kind of a slope like that all right and push complete when you're done okay um so then i can just essentially move this into my map whatever it is that you want to create okay um, and you can do this kind of in like uh, modular kind of parts if you like so if i have this selected and i go back into cube grid, grid again um, and i create something separately over here and push complete that has become part of this static mesh all right if i wanted it to be a separate static mesh I need to, to come right to the top, just click first person map editor so that nothing is selected, then go to cube grid again, create something else over here. All right. Whatever it might be. And push complete. Okay, and now that is a separate piece. Okay, so if you wanted it to be in separate pieces, you can do that. But if I wanted to then say, okay, I want to go continuing editing this one again, select it, go back to cube grid, and I can continue editing that. So I can push that through, make that into kind of a, a walkthrough, whatever you want to do. Um, maybe I want like a, a slope to get up here. So maybe I need another section there. Um, corner mode, get these front ones. Uh, Q to go down and then complete and we have the slope. So if I push play, um, I can walk through all this. It's got all the collision detection set up for me. Um, and that's all good. Um, material wise, go to the content drawer. I'm just going to go to the level prototyping material and uh, chuck that on there. There we go. OK, 
okay so yeah as you can see it's a real quick and easy way to block out and prototype your kind of level designs um, test them make sure they work before you actually go in and make um, any you know, custom models from it okay so that's a real quick introduction to the cube grid tool hope that helps